All right, what is going on, guys? It's Munchie here. And yes, I am a bit late with this whole analyzing gameplay, but the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to hop straight into it. We are doing CSN Prologies, and as you guys can see by that terrible class up, he has got Expeditionary on, and he doesn't have scopes. Obviously, my first thing would either have Infantry or scopes on the class. But um, the gameplay is pretty impressive itself. I think he does go flawless. He doesn't die at all. Um, as you guys can see, the first thing he does is run to the left. Whenever I do play A, can I do the exact same thing? Always avoid the middle, because more than likely, they're going to get sniped, they're going to get LMG'd. First thing he does, he notices that nobody pushes on the left. More than likely, they're going to come storming down the middle or the right. And he's correct, picks up a kill. Somehow sponges a rocket launcher. That guy's like semi-blind because he didn't even see him. Manages to pick up another kill. And as you can see, he's just flanking around. Um, just looking, just being observant. Drops a trip mine there just in case somebody does come up behind him. Good, 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 good map awareness there. Um, and yeah, he's just pretty much shooting people in the back. Sort of flanking around. He notices that the spawn slipped. His UAV obviously helps him spot that. I don't know what he's doing there. A um, bit of trolling. But yeah, um, he's looking at just pretty much looking at the UAV, notices where all the guys are at, um, able to pick people off, somehow just dodges a sniper shot and he also gets a trip mine kill. So as you guys can see, that trip mine that he did place just there did actually come in handy and actually save his life. Um, places another trip mine as he backs up just in case anybody does come rushing in from the front hand side. He picks up an easy kill and he goes, he does the same thing that he done at the start of the match. Switches sides and flanks all the way around. He notices that nobody's really pushing on the left hand side. And then he's on the right hand side. This right hand side is a bit um, is a bit better to push than the left hand side because the left hand side is sort of stacked up with windows and head glitches. The right hand side gives you a nice open path to either either areas. As you guys can see, drops a trip mine and he gets out of it. So and then you know he goes to cover a new area. This is what I used to do when I used to run trip mines. Um, I would basically place one and then move to a next area because if somebody does come from that area, you do get an easy kill. He's also using that expeditionary um, talent, or should I say perk, where every time you hit somebody with a leaf or a stun grenade, they actually become painted on your mini-map, sort of like how Espionage works. He notices that one guy's coming in the building. He wants to, what he's going to do is actually set himself up to get a nice little kill. He's now got his paratrooper, calls in his paratroopers. Um, yeah, I don't think he actually does drop a V2 rocket this game because I don't think he has it unlocked. Um, as you guys can see, he's sort of seeing on this left hand side, he's no, they're all coming from the right. Pre aims gets himself an easy kill. He's still pre aiming. He's got his trip mine there, so just in case, you know, somebody does come rushing through, you can run away, bait them in with the trip mine. He also does pick up another trip mine kill. As you guys can see, his paratroopers are actually going in and doing some work. He's on the ruthless, got his UAV. He notices they're all in the back of the spawn. Um, just sort of lingering. He just sort of lingering. He notices that, you know, pretty much his entire team and his paratroopers are over there. He notices that the spawns are flipped and straight thing. But as soon as he notices that, what does he do? He runs back over to the other side of the spawns. Sets up sets up in this nice little building here. Obviously, his UAV helps him out with that kill there. He's got a trip mine there. So just in case the enemy team does come running through there, he picks himself up a nice easy kill. Um, obviously, using the stun to his... Uh, advantage there again. He's painted on the mini map. Um, I don't know why none of his teammates actually saw that guy there. Bit weird. As you guys can see, you bait, basically baiting his teammates. And um, that's basically what you want to do. That's that's how a lot of people actually become good. Baiting your teammates and just you know using them, letting them push out first. Um, to spot where all the enemy are and then going out and finishing up basically um, as you guys can see he drops two ship mines on this right hand side basically leaves the area because I mean, just, he just doesn't need to be there anymore throws a stun just to get um, some sort of coverage just in case he does is able to actually paint anyone as you guys can see he did shoot that guy and he's just going to pre-aim this area mounting coming in handy there wow but I mean he doesn't he's not even able to pick up that kill there which that, that enemy team basically sucked um, but yeah, gets a second set of paratroopers, and um, wow, this gun actually melts. This is why I like the M1941. Very underrated gun, and it absolutely shreds. He picks up a nice little triple kill there. Um, he's a bit curious there because he notices that a lot of them are running mountain, so they may actually be behind him, even though we can't actually see them. So he's just playing it safe here. He's on a brutal, you know, pretty close to the vicious metal, as you, as you guys can see. As as you guys normally do, whenever you are close to a nuke, you do play a bit more safe until you actually do get the nuke. Um, he sort of notices like the spawns have flipped and now he's got trip mines set up anyway. He's got enough trip mines to set a whole fresh batch up anyway. Obviously using the UAV to his advantage, he's already got the unstoppable medals coming in because of his paratroopers. He notices that a trip mine goes off and instantly, instantly turns around, picks up a nice little kill there. Yeah, he, pretty, he goes flawless this game. Good stuff from Prodigy. I don't know how that stun didn't go off and kill him and blow up his trip mine. He gets pretty lucky. He manages to escape. Um, yeah. 
just pretty much using his teammates as bait. Um, as you guys can see, he wants to back up. He can go flawless with this gun. So he basically just backs up, plays safely for pretty much the rest of the game. Just picking people off at range. Good things, you know, things that ARs do. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty good gameplay from Mr. CSN Prology. Well done, mate. Well done. His link will be in the description down below. If you guys did enjoy like the first part of this, make sure to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys are new, hit the sub button and turn on those notifications. And I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace out, guys.